<laughs> it's really not looking too promising out there. Oh, when we look, it's terrible. It's, it's miserable. Up there somewhere in front of us is the devil's backbone, but God knows where it is because you can't see a thing really. Let's try it. The worst that can happen is we get blown away. I think we made the right decision. It's already started to rain. It would have been pretty miserable down south. See those parrots are loud. No, the weather in Tasmania is just so unpredictable. You never know what it's going to do from one day to the next. But we made the call back at the beginning of the week because meaning you're going to a friend's place. And we had to work out whether that was going to be the Saturday or the Sunday, which meant that we would probably end up going for the run on Sunday, I think, tomorrow. And it looks like that's a good call because mm. Today is not looking too good. I'm meant to clear up this afternoon and then tomorrow is meant to be the better day of the yeah. two. So um, good day for you with your friend and a good day for us down south up on a devil's backbone. So today, mark it and then we'll see if we can take these dogs for a walk down the beach and get them tied out so they don't end up <laughs> barking all day when we're away tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <clears throat> Cheers. Now, now. Now I've got to think about what I've been doing. <laughs> I'll try again. Right. Lady of Spain, I adore you. Right from the first time I saw you. Yep. My heart is beautiful. Is that healthy? No. <laughs> what else could any heart do? I hate the Beatles. <laughs> All right, we are down at Salamanca. This is probably Tasmania's, or at least Hobart's, but I think probably Tasmania's best known market, Salamanca market, right down on the uh, the wharf here at Salamanca. Just finishing up the video for this week, and it just occurred to me that. Um, down here with Mina and Flo. It just occurred to me that um, while I was finishing off the video that it's, um, it's a bit like um, sending one of your own kids out into the world. I don't know whether that makes any sense, but you do your best with um, raising the child and um, making sure that she gets the best that she can possibly get of everything, the best upbringing and then you send it out into the world and hope that it does well all by itself. It's a bit like that with videos. You put so much work into them and then uh, send them out into the world and they've got to look after themselves out there in, in YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, look here, we've got Dyker and Lara. <laughs> We're going to be on the next video now. Beautiful car.
It's another one of those days where Mina is off at a friend's place, so we are heading down to the Harts National Park. I don't know whether it's the world's best day for it, because it's, windy. it's really windy out there. Um, we're looking to go, I think a few weeks, well, be actually a few months ago now, we said that we would like to head up to the, um, the Devil's Backbone. Um, and we've sort of been waiting for the right time to do that. I'm not sure whether this is the best time to do it because it is pretty windy, but um, it's the only day that we've got um, the time to run together. Up there somewhere in front of us is the Devil's Backbone, but God knows where it is because you can't see a thing really. There's a few people here, but I suspect they're, they're sort of doing short walks and we were hoping to do something a bit more... Um, something a bit more um, adventurous and it certainly would be adventurous today <laughs> if you headed up there <laughs> we'll go we'll go look we'll go for a look and see uh, we'll head up to Lake Osborne and then um, yeah maybe get across to Lake Perry and possibly see how we go getting on up to that ridge I think what do you reckon yeah let's try it the devil's backbone. It's cleared up a fair bit now so maybe we will make it up there after all but god oh, yeah. there's a hell of a wind coming through now as you can see a bit of sun coming across now the ridge we well, gotta head over that way to the north and then back along to the south here a little bit um, it's looking down on Lake Osborne and over this way is the back way but well, we're gonna come up into the wind again in a minute heading down into Lake Perry but look there's a reasonably good little pad here through to through the back bone at least I'm hoping so pretty good going so far How's the gun flow? Oh, good. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot better than we thought it was going to be because that weather was looking pretty dismal. pretty cold but, <laughs> but when the sun comes out it's nice but is it that wind is so strong down there I don't know whether you can see it in the footage but it's whipping up a storm down there on Lake Perry it's gonna be brutal up on up on the backbone but worth it I think we're gonna take this opportunity where you can get it huh yeah, we have change coming again but let's get up as far as we can anyway yeah. I think this looks a bit like a path much better than expected we've got the 
ridge ahead of us up to the Devil's Backbone. Just out of the wind here, hopefully. <coughs> it's howling across the lake down the bottom. That sun occasionally coming across. That's where we're off to. Along the length of that backbone. further to my mouth it's not working too well it's so cold we've come a bit further to the north we've come away from the actual course my um, watch is telling me now we're off course and uh, this is what we've got in front of us I've got a feeling that that's going to be a bit easier than beating up through the bush we're a little bit out of the wind here so this actually should be a bit easier I think the right direction flow? <laughs> yes, that's the wind. <laughs> that was great. That was one of the best runs I think we've done for a while. I don't think you're going to hear too much in. One. Yeah, interesting, yeah. But fantastic up at those lakes. But I think it's too... Too loud to hear anything so I'll get in the car. It's a bit different than we expected. I don't think we were expecting it to be um, the bush to be quite as thick up at the top. There were some sections that were really good but other sections where you just you know you had to beat your way through the bush to get anywhere. But, I'm so um, glad I've got the gators. I didn't yeah, yeah, put that was... them on at the top. 
Yeah. Not because of snakes, but <laughs> because it's of this horrible... It's funny, I think if you'd started worrying about snakes, you would have never gotten anywhere, really. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head home. Yep. Oh. <sighs> All right, we're back home again now. Um, I think at the beginning, it's fair to say we were a bit disappointed that we'd missed our weather window off the Saturday. It probably would have been the better day in the end to have gone for the run. But um, you can never really plan anything too far ahead here in Tasmania. Um, but I think really it goes to show that um, sometimes the wrong decision is actually the right one because that was one of the best days out in the mountains we've had for a, for a while, I reckon. I think we probably say that every time, but um, I think it's true. Um, and um, it ended up only being a really short run, and I think it also shows that you don't need to go for massive long runs, ultra expeditions to have an, a really good time out in the mountains. So that's it for this week, guys. If you like what we're doing here, um, hit that like button, maybe consider subscribing, share it with others, um, leave a comment down below too. If you're new to the channel, let us know where you are, where you run and um, what you get up to and we will see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.